Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So the question of the day is, why do men always have to prove themselves to a woman? Don't women have to prove themselves also? I have two reasons why. Stay tuned. All right, family, thank you so much for coming back. This is gonna be a short and sweet video today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Why do men seem to always have to prove themselves to the lady and does the lady have to prove herself back? So for me, it honestly depends on the stage in the relationship, period. The men have to prove themselves in the very beginning and then as the relationship is moving on, then they both have to prove themselves. Now. Why do men have to prove themselves in the very beginning? The first thing or the first tip that I'm going to give you is because this is the way that society has set it up. Seriously, that's 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 the reason this this is how society has set it up. The man is supposed to be the leader. The man is supposed to be the breadwinner or the one who brings home the bacon. And the man is also supposed to be the backbone of the relationship, the backbone of the family. So. This is the way that society has it set up. So yes, you have to prove yourself to be the leader. You have to prove yourself to be the guy that brings home the bacon. In our society, that is a little bit different, but you at least got to show the potential to do it or that you two can work together to make the dream still happen. But um, the way that society has set it up, the man is still bringing home the bacon. And you'll still, you'll still see even nowadays, some men will not even let the woman pay for the date. You know, if, if she gets in trouble, he's like, how come you didn't call me and try to figure this thing out? So it's just the way that society has it set up. Seriously. The second and final reason why the man always has to prove himself to the woman is because it is for mating purposes. Just think about it. In the animal kingdom, the man in any species, the male, let's say that the male in any species, the one who procreates the most is the dominant person, is the one, so for peacocks, it is the one who has the, 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 the widest range of feathers and they're the most beautiful. In some of the bird kingdoms, they do like a little song and dance, right? So it really is for mating purposes and the dominant person who can show that you are going to have these superior genes to be passed on, you are going to be the one who is able to procreate with all of the ladies per se within the species. You get the first dibs, et cetera, et cetera. So not only does society have it set up that way, the in the animal kingdom is also set up that way where you have to prove yourself to be a leader you have to prove yourself for me to follow you you have to prove yourself that you can actually go out and hunt and bring home the food right <laughs> you have to do a lot of proving you have to prove that you can be loyal you have to prove that you can be a man of your word you have to prove that you can take care of me if need be that's just the way that it is now let me move on as i already mentioned as the relationship starts to mature and you guys are actually choosing one another, then yes, you both have to prove yourself to one another because as things are going on in the relationship, you are really feeling this person, they are really feeling you, you have to start to really look at some of the core values of this particular person. And if they are not matching up, at, i.e. proving themselves to you, if they're not matching up with what you're looking for, then that is not going to be your mate for you. It's just not. So yes, both sexes need to prove themselves, but in the very beginning, women listen up. In the very beginning, we forget this. We forget that we make the choice. Sorry, fellas, but y'all know I'm telling the truth. And a lot of you women re really, really, really need to recognize this and remember this. Because a lot of us have forgotten and we're starting to let the man choose us. We're starting to give away our power of the choice and who we choose. And you don't have to do that. You don't have to give away your power. You choose. Women choose. We are the choosers. Which is why they, in every animal species, they are doing all of these song and dances. Some of them, like the apes. I can't remember that one. That, that I think it's an orangutan, but they, they're the ones with that, that big thing. I can't think of what the name of it is. But they're making all of the noises, right? The deer and rams are fighting off each other with the, with the, with the horns and, and uh, you know, the, the antlers. It's all about procreation. 
but it's just really ingrained in us. So take back your power and you be the chooser of the relationship and create the relationship that you want. And just think about this. Both of you need to create the relationship that you want in order to make it last, in order to make it work. It's all about compromise. It's all about let me know exactly what you need, want, and desire because neither of us are mind readers in these relationships. So you have to be able to verbalize what you want. Be concise. Be, con- be clear. Let me know because I'm, I'm not a mind reader. That's a different video, but I'm about to go off on a tangent. But what I'm going to do is stop and leave it right here. So now let me know some of the things that you think why men need to still prove themselves versus the women or do they both need to prove themselves do you agree with me disagree with me just let me know you you know that i love to read y'all comments down in the comment section below i absolutely love to read them and i cannot wait each and every day when i release a video to come back and read them because they're very important and we need to continue these conversations online as well as offline so if you are not following me on my social media sites then you need to go ahead and do that so we can continue the conversations i post pics and all of that stuff over there as well um so yeah go ahead and follow me on social media of course check the description box below because i have my online courses down there the links to my online courses and then i also have the playlist for the month of march down in there as well so you can catch up with all of the question and answers that i've answered for the month of march i will see you again tomorrow bye bye